Okie dokie, so now we are ready for our migrations. So let's start with python manage.py and make migrations. And we can tell Django to go only to air pollutions, pollution, which basically is the same as if I didn't write it because the only changes that we made was in air pollution app. Um, so we're just showing you that you can put that in there so you specify which app to uh, focus on and only go with that app. So I'm just texting me there, okay. Um, so now we need to Python manage py mm, migrate. It's funny when you're uh, non-native in English and you try to spell and type, it's impossible. Anyway, that went well, no problems here. Okay, first of all, git. So let's um, commit our changes. Um, git add all, and then git commit, and uh, let's say created air pollution app, and created, created models for the app. Okay, what do we want this app to do? Um, and how do we want to see it working? So let's start our app. So let's start our website and go to 127. Okay, that's here. 127.0.0.1. That's the local host. And by the way, if I typed local host, enter, oops, colon, 8000, that would take me into the same place. So that's there are two ways of, of approaching this. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? Um, as I mentioned before, we want to show all our apps in here. And we want to be able to click on this and go inside of each app. Okay, so and so then each app has its own template and its own website, its own page, basically. So and I'm going to go with this one, we can we can get rid of these, obviously, because they were just for testing. So let's go to admin, actually, oops. Escape, click, slash, admin. Am I logged in? I'm not. Uh, let's just log in. Sure. And da, 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 my apps. Oh, we don't have. Okay, let's start with the apps. So I'm going to just delete the apps I don't want. So these are just test apps that I'm going to just get rid of. Yes. And haha, I changed the name. Air pollution. Okay, air pollution statistics um, using Excel file. Okay, save it. And now, okay, happy enough. But what did you notice? This the thing I notice here. We have authentication and authorization and we have website, but we don't have our new air pollution, which we have to add. So we need to go to admin and just basically go and do something like this. Admin sites register. Uh, we want to register from air pollution dot models import country pollutant and pollutant entry. Okay, uh, we want to do country register. Why is it sites? Is it site? Ah, it, I can check in here as well because sometimes a small change makes a big difference. So admin site register. Okay, just making sure. And then we need to duplicate it for each. So pollutant and pollutant entry, save it, refresh, and we have them all in here. Perfect. Okay. So, but that's not crucial. We are not going to look at it yet. Um, what I want to look at is how do we approach our website? So we want to be able to click on this. We see this model. And what I want to do is just be able to click on this. And so this picture takes us to an actual app. Okay. So let's go to the templates. Templates. And we have our website and our index. 
Uh, I suppose the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory here or other way I can create a HTML file and I'm going to type in here uh, air pollution slash I just want to have one index file not to get confused so welcome for for this and as you can see automatically created my uh, folder yeah sure I can add it <laughs> This is not going to be used in here, so I'm going to just get rid of it. And so as you might remember in our base, which is a an HTML code that con contains the nav bar and the footer. For now, we're going to figure out how to make this a link. So let's go to index HTML and let's look for the, the models actually. So model MOD. Yeah, portfolio, portfolio models and in portfolio model, let's look for uh, image IMG IMG here and I can see it's tapping into the app image URL. So that's the one and we want this to be some sort of a link. So I'm going to just wrap it into anchor href and for now I'm going to do google.com. I know it's not the best copy this and put that here okay um, I know it highlighted because there should be HTTPS okay um, and let's see what's gonna happen now if I refresh click on this and then you can see my my cursor is a pointer actually so if I go here it's not a pointer I click here and it takes me to Google so I'm on a, on the right track Okay, so I click this and I click this and it takes me to Google. Cool. Okay, so what can I do with this? I suppose each app should have its URL. We should be able to be redirected somehow. So I wanted this to do something like slash um, air pollution. Let's save it and see what happens when I click on the link now. So what it says is, hey, I, I tried to go to um, the localhost 8000 slash air pollution, but it's not there. And it's fine. It's working. Uh, obviously not programmatically because I hard coded this air pollution here, but it's working. And that's the main thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to website models. And in here, I'm going to add something like URL. And that's going to be just like mod models char field max length max length of ah, it's not going to be longer than 20 the app's name basically it's going to be okay let's make it 30 and it shouldn't be null so we can leave it as it is yeah just leave it as it is save it terminal oops Rush. don't want you here terminal and just up 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 make migrations and I actually want to do the migrations to websites so I'm going to just delete that and let it do migration for all the apps and in here it's asking me hey there is a non-nullable URL field what do you want me to do should I one should I provide once off one off default now or should I quit and change make some changes to the model I'm going to just put the once off and that's going to be slash I think I should put slash there um Oops, slash air, pollu air pollution. Okay, and now migrate. Cool. Uh, if I go back and I go to admin. Oops, come on, Marek. I know it's late. And let's go to my apps. And you can see that now it has air pollution in here because I gave it a default. Um, value to put into all the existing entries and I knew I have just one entry that will have this inside so I can use this now in my template so since I'm iterate, iterating over all the all my apps so I added this context in here my apps as you can remember in the views the views are generating the context and I'm just taking from the model my app objects all so I'm taking all my apps I start as all, all apps and then I create this dictionary, my apps, uh, sorry, context. And then one of the key value entries is the key is my apps. 
and the value is this query in here that's that's called query if we take a model dot object dot all or dot filter um, we create a query um, like in SQL uh, pretty much and so that query is being passed as a context to this index HTML my apps and I'm just now iterating over uh, through those um, apps okay and, and I'm grabbing each app and then tapping into ID and name and image URL and so on so in here I suppose I want to tap into a using double brace braces app URL okay and now save and now let's go back to the uh, to the website and if I click on this it did try to take me to air pollution it's not there yet but it did try so now who can tell me what to do to hook up the air pollution template with URLs okay nobody because nobody's here uh, no one can raise their hand fortunately I would love to do a, a live live thing here but anyway so we want this welcome thing to be somehow connected to this URL so as you might remember the first thing we would have to do is we would have to go to the views and do something very similar as we did in our views in the website so as you might remember we had to import some models if we want to use that data in there and then um, we need to do just collect the context what context whatever that is and put it in here okay so let's do exactly the same thing let's go to air pollution views delete this and let's do define um, air pollution welcome mm, and that's going to take request and in here all for now all we want to do is return um, render request and the next one was the template so air pollution slash welcome HTML and there is no context so we don't need to put anything in there so let's save this and uh, now we need the URLs as well so I'm gonna just copy this as I told you before I like to copy things because it saves a lot of time um, sure and I have this URLs file opened already and it gives me a bit of a boilerplate I can work on so I have the path in here and I have the views from the same um, folder the dot says go into the same folder but because i'm in air pollution i can say something like air pollution and it still knows where to go because it's django uh, i'm going to stick to the dot because i'm going to copy this file uh, every time i build a new app and so the path will be nothing for now and then we're going to take views dot air pollution welcome i suppose it can be just welcome Okay, and I'm going to change that. It has to be the same name. So I'm going to delete this and then go to views and change this to just welcome. Okay, and it has to be exactly the same in the URLs because we are taking something from the views file. If it's not there, it's not there. And then we can name it a air pollution welcome. Okay, and I put nothing in here, although we want this air pollution here. And it's because I'm going to, instead of putting air pollution here every time I want to add another URL for air pollution, I can do a trick that does it for me and I can do it in URLs. So I'm going to just duplicate this and in here I'm going to say air pollution slash. Yep, yeah. so air pollution slash and include instead of website I say air pollution dot urls save refresh and we have our glorious blank page which I did create before the air pollution welcome where is it here is indeed blank um, the first thing I can do is I can say hey extend um, extend base HTML if I put that in there can you guess what's going to happen this happens so we get the um, 
we get the navigation and we get the footer. Uh, we have nothing in between. So that's a good thing. Um, let's go back in here. So what do we want to do? First of all, I noticed that when I click on this, nothing happens. It's because it was built for one page layout. So we have to fix this. Um, so as I mentioned before, this nav bar needs to be tweaked. So I suppose that would be a good moment now to finish. And in the next video, we're going to focus on the nav bar uh, because we have more than this one page. And then we can build the form where we put our Excel file and start seeing that data inside of our Django database. Cool. Awesome. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.